a sound you hear that lingers in your ear, but you can't forget from sundown to sunset. Nah, nah. It's all in the air, you hear it everywhere. No matter what you do, it's gonna grab a hold on you. California soul. California soul. It's really Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. From Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got game one of the National League Division Series. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Book Shami alongside Chris Singleton. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about to get started, and today's starting pitcher, Jack Flaherty. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Ready to go? Now, Luis Arias. The designated hitter, Luis Arias. And he deals. That oh, one way outside. Play. And the series is underway.
and the 1 0. Fouled off. He was late. And another ball. The wide to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. That Down one not close. Two. Three balls, two strikes. Hit in the air, left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Fernando no, Tatis Jr. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. With Tatis at the plate, we're looking at a player that is never going to be considered boring. He's an electric player that manages to make plays most players wouldn't consider Doing trying. And he plays the game his own way. It's a big reason why he's considered such a fan favorite. Wouldn't Reno. chase that time. And there's the automatic. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. Next offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Hit hard on the ground is short. And they take He's care up. of Tatis for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Outside, ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or put him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitchers' arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important yeah, today when everything is under the microscope. That one lifted to left. Hernandez ranging after it. And makes the grab. And that's the third out. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And on the mound today, Brian Hoeing. Well, they're going with the opener in this one. So this is an interesting look. He's probably only going to pitch in any, maybe two at the most. And it's going to be unconventional. I think he's going to pitch backwards, more off speed, and then fastballs late. Here's Mookie Betts. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Smoked in the left, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice line drive to the full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. 
There's a swing and a drive. That's bad. See you later. That should put a jolt into this old crowd. And that gives him a lead. It's 2-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch. And I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That one deep left field and forget it. They go back to back and they add on. It's 3 0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. This was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCats. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy it's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. Here's Shohei Otani. That one ripped. And it is gone! And they add a run. It's 4-0. Shohei leaves his mark on every game he plays, and he's done it again with a home run. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. The batter now will be Will Smith. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Sends it to first. One gone bottom half of the first. That is good. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Man at first with one gone. Here comes Chris Taylor. Trying to move him over here. Solano. They apply the tag, and the runner moves up to second. Miguel Rojas at the play. And he lays one down the left side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Puts a bunt down. Machado throws to first in time. Inning over, although plenty of damage done.
top of the second, and here is Manny Machado. Number 13. Manny. These fans have to feel good right about now. This series is not going to be easy, but they have the lead at home in game one. That brings the anxiety down a few notches. Ball one, no strike. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Let's talk about great individual postseasons. One that really sticks out to me is Ricky Anderson in 1989. He hit 441 with three homers and 11 stolen bases, leading Oakland to a World Series championship. The wind of the pitch. Man, when I think about great postseason performances, hard to top Carlos Beltran in 2004. Eight homers and six steals in 12 games with the Houston Astros. He didn't even get to play in the World Series that year. And it's fouled away. The pitch. And a pop up right side foul territory. Freeman drifts towards it. One away. That is good. The center fielder, number three, Jackson. Stepping Merrill. in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. One of the best in the game against right handed pitching. The lefties, however, that's another story. Now, one and oh. yeah, the first offering is not close. Singy, is this more common today? Guys really only succeeding against pitchers throwing from a specific side? I think it's because you just don't get a very long trial Do period anymore. I mean, with the analytics and the numbers, teams are looking for instant success with the lineups that they construct. So. If you don't figure it out quickly against Three certain ball. types of pitchers, you're just not going to get those opportunities. And a four pitch walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Xander Bogarts at the plate and takes high there. The Padres down by four here in game one of the NLDS. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. And that misses no as strike. well. On the ground left side, six, four. He's out. Three, Eight. but he beats it. Good hustle. And the inning continues. That is seven. The second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Man at first. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth, multi-time All-Star, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. The Dodgers leading by four here in game one. That misses, and now 2-0. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next pitch is outside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. It's in and out of his glove, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Dodgers four and the Padres nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom half of inning number two. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Hoeing back to work. That one ripped right center field. Out of here. That one felt good. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5 zip. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there.
just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Betts batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second, and he's got his second double of the game. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. So a man aboard, and up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. And a sack bunt here. Machado on the run, throw to first, out on the sack bunt. Played a little small ball right there. Now, now they've got a runner on third with less than two outs. A lot of different ways to get him home. Nicely done right there. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homered here in this one. Puts a bunt down. Whips it to first on the run, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Runner on at first with one gone. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Light drive, and that's just foul. Righty to the plate. Well struck right field. Going gone. Another homer. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a pair. It's 8 0, and their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog, and right now for this team, clearly it's the long ball. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Brian Hoeing gives way, and the opener strategy clearly didn't work out this time. New arm coming on. We'll be back after a short break. Righty reliever out of the pen, Matt Waldron. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Base is empty one away. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. And the righty deals. And he lays down a bunt. To first, and they get the out on Smith. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. Here comes Max Muncy. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. Squares the bunt, but that rolls foul. Two down, nobody on. Try to bunt his way on. And now he's out, trying to get back. The huge turn backfires, and that ends the inning. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now an 8 nothing game. This is the National League Division Series on the show. Back here in L.A., here's Donovan Solano. The right-hander back to work. And that one fouled off. 
clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Next offering way off the plate. And another ball. That one misses. Three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Kyle Higashioka. Not even close there. And that is ball one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Way outside. And that's ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Right-hander kicks, deals, and ball four to a board. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Luis Arise stands in. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact Whoa. to deliver power. No outs, runners at first and second. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's Two in the more. zone a long no time. Ball. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Not Three close ball. with okay. that one. Three and oh. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Rojas for one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. That's outside, and that's ball one. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Two outs. And there's a ball. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. On the ground to third. Whips it across. That ends the frame. One left for San Diego, and they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. Now it's the DH, Chris Taylor. And a pitch. On the ground to third. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. So an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if they are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Rojas in the box now. No balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. Gets the bunt down the right side, and he grabs it foul.
And the right-hander deals. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Solano steps on the bag. One gone, bottom of the third inning. The center fielder, number 25, Tommy. And here comes Tommy Edmond. He's already homered in this game. And there's the strike. Zach Bunt towards third. There to beat him by an eyelash. The battle. The right field. Mookie. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. And that bunted towards third. Fires across the diamond, and that will end the inning. So no runs on no hits, one error, and a runner left. On to the fourth now in game number one. It's the Dodgers eight, and the Padres nothing. Game one of the division series. Here's the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Profar. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Next pitch misses way outside. And here it comes. Right down the shoot. Now two and one. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Manny Machado now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. The Padres with a lot of ground to make up. Top half of inning number four. Wouldn't chase that time. That one not close. And that's ball three. See if he gives him anything to hit here. Right through there for a strike. Kick Sandios. Grounded to third. Could be two. Fires to second for one. On to Freddie. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And now it's going to be Jackson Merrill walked his first time. And that's outside. And the next pitch is way outside. Two out spaces empty. Next pitch is outside. Fouled off to the right. 
Thought that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance. But if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. Kicks and fires. And that is cut on and missed. And now it's three and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And here comes Sander Bogarts. At the first pitch misses. The shortstop takes the ball. Another ball. And a pitch. And that's ball four. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny Cronenworth. In now, takes ball one off the plate. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And that misses as well. is in for a strike and he swings and lifts one to deep center field Edmund raging back towards the wall pulls it in on the warning track a couple of hits in the inning but they can't get him home on now to the bottom of the fourth it's the Dodgers eight and the Padres nothing Welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. All impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Puts a bunt down, and he grabs it in foul ground. Right-handed reliever. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Now back. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. Now a drag ball, third base side. One down, base is empty. In the air, left side. Profar has a beat on it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now back, second base. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Shohei Otani. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side.
Two down, nobody on. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one hammered. That's back there. And out of here. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 9-0. That ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And up to the plate is Will Smith. That one hammered center field. Way back there. That one is gone. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers. And they add to their lead. It's 10-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up the ball club. Base is empty with two away. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Lays down a bunt to the right side. And they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now 10 zip. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And now the first baseman, Donovan Solano. The wind of the pitch. There's a good feel in the ballpark, and that's what you expect when the home side has the lead in game one. This energy is going to keep building with every out. The pitch. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's a 3-0. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab, one away. Now that, Pepper. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That misses ball one. Higashioka, 33 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. And another ball. Next pitch misses way outside. One out, base is empty. High fly ball out to left field. Settles underneath it. Pulls it in for the out. And there are two down. 
the so the batting order turns over. Now the DH for the Padres. Luis Arias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Left hand batter waits. That misses the zone. And now 3 0. Fernando Tatis Jr. in the San Diego on deck circle. The Dodgers up big in this one. And we're at the top of the fifth. Down the middle for a strike. Three and two down. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Inside ball four. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really now, limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Two outs, runner at first. Now the batter now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Ball one, no strikes. Outside. Outside. And that's ball three. Jerks in Profar. On deck for the Padres. And a pitch. So now two on and two outs. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Profar climbs in on that left side. One for two. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Jack Flaherty won't go any further tonight. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So they turn things over to the righty, Walker Bueller. And he's got a nice Walker. lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Pitch ball misses one, there. Right. Ball one. And that's ball, outside. No strike. First and second. Two down. Three misses down. with the 2-0. And he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Right hey. through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Here's Manny Machado. First offering misses badly for ball one. And another ball. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. That three one ball. missed. No break. Base hit. One run in already. The throw in. He's in there. And it's now 10-2. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds One a hole. Two outs. That's two way out. outside. Now 2-0. Oh. Wouldn't Three chase balls. that no time. Break. 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Around third. Now a long throw home. He's safe. Back-to-back -back singles. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. And took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. First and second, two down. Xander Bogarts, the next up for the Padres. Way outside, 1-0. Oh. And the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And that's outside. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Helpful. Hard ground ball base now. Coming home. He will score. It's 10-4. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. First pitch, not close. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And the next pitch is way outside. Runners on first and third, two away. Pitch misses, and now 3-0. Lobber to right field, way back, gone. A massive home run. It's 10-7. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, boom. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Donovan Solano, the next up for the Padres. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. The final damage here, they bat around. Ten come to the plate, seven runs on the board. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Padres 7. Back here at Dodger Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Chris Taylor down. Waldron back to work. Swing and a ball hammered left field, way back there, and gone! He jacks that one out to left, and they add a run, it's 11-7. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball out of the bullpen for the Padres Adrian Mora home and we all know about his slider it's just filthy man and one of the better ones in the game I'd say spin rates very high and it just breaks a ton
And the batter now, Miguel Rojas. He's 0 for 1. Gets the bunt down the right side. Solano takes it himself. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Number 25, Tommy Edmund. So up next, Tommy Edmund. Bunts it straight back to the mound. Tosses to first, and they get Edmund for the out. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie. Yeah. Here's Mookie now. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Well struck left field. That'll make it out of here. Mookie Betts blasts one out. Second home run of the inning for him. And they tack one on the board. It's 12-7. Siggy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it did, Bird. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. Puts a bunt down, and he picks it up in foul territory. Two down, nobody on. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. Here comes a pitch. And down on strikes. That's the inning. Coming with that warning to get you. You can get this from such a short distance. And my spit will probably still be warm when it hits you. I'll get a tissue. Swear to God, I'm an issue. You don't really want Top of the sixth inning, the stepping in the long ball the threat, Kyle Higashioka. Kyle Higashioka. And he deals. What and a pitch is outside, ball one. Two balls, Two ball. no strikes no to count. Point. And yeah, another ball. Out. He swings and fouls one off. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. The bat, number four. Designated hitter. So the San Diego batting order Arias. turns over. Luis Arias digs in now. Not even no close play. there. And that's ball one. Wouldn't Two chase balls. that time. No Next Three offering balls. way okay. off the plate. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. <laughs> Lifted in the air right center field. Edmund going after it. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Up next to the Padres, the right fielder, Fernando Tatis. Two outs, base is empty. Junior. Stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's outside, and that's ball one. And another ball. And delivers outside. Jerks in pro far into San Diego on deck circle. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. Part of the order, three, four, five coming up. It's the Dodgers 12 and the Padres 7. in L.A. Now it's going to be Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Lifted to left center. Way back there. And that is gone. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the game. And they add on. It's 13-7. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter Shohei Otani crush to right this one's got a chance out of here home run That was blasted to the moon. His fourth home run of the game, and they add a run. It's 14 7. I swear I'm like 1,000 now. Rising to the top, what you know about me now? I run it, now move, because I'm about to go. I'm running over you, I promise I'll look out below. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you gotta make it happen too. These are the types of performances that people just... So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, number one. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And now the catcher comes up to him, Will Smith. Bunting, and he pops it up. And they get the out on Smith. And there's one away. Here's Muncy to hit. Bunts it towards the mound. On the run, sends it over to first. They get the out on Muncy. The batter, number three, designated hitter. Chris. Here comes Chris Taylor. Lays down a bunt to the right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. We go to the top of the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. Yeah, the right hater back to work. That one, one way outside, and it's one to know. 
and that's outside. The wind to kick the pitch. That one not close, and that's ball three. Lace down the line, could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Machado oh, no in the box play. here lets that one go for a ball. And it's second. Wouldn't chase that time. That misses. Ball three. Swung on. Belted. That one back there. And that ball is out of here. A two-run homer. And they slice into the lead. It's 14-9. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. At the play, Jackson Merrill. And yeah, the first offering is not close. The pitch. Not close with that one. Ball two. And that's outside. Two runs across in the inning here in the late stages of game one. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Hernandez settles underneath it, and it's caught for the out. The bat, number two. Short now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. The what shortstop else? takes the ball. Way outside, and the count is 2 and 0. And another ball. This one high in the air to left center. Hernandez on the move. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Cronenworth stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next pitch is outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Pitch is in for a strike, and the count is filled up. Okay. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We're back 
back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jeremiah Estrada. Jeremiah Estrada. So digging in, Miguel Rojas. The shortstop. The pitch. Bunted back towards the mound. Slings to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Tommy Edmond steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for three. Puts a bunt down. And he's safe at first. for three with a homer and two doubles. down the first base side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket trying to move him over here Solano throws the first in time as the pitcher brings it in for the out and the runner advances to second Better does a nice job getting that sack Freddy. bunt down to the right side advances Freddy. that runner up to second excellent here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit Puts a bunt down. Machado whips it to first. That's the third out. Inning over. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Donovan Solano. And a pitch. And yep, ball one, one. So two oh, balls and no strikes. Strike. And another freedom. ball. Out to center, Edmund in position. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, Tetris, Kyle. Kyle Higashioka now at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First one offering off. misses badly for ball one. And no, there's no. a ball. And the righty deals. Three ball, no strike. That's a hit. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Back to the top of the lineup, digging in, Luis Arias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missed.
pitch balls, misses, no and it's 3 and 0. Oh. Man at first, one away. Next offering in there for a strike. Strike one. On the ground, could be two. Fires to second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Dodgers lead it 14 to nine. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Jason Adam. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And here it comes Adam, a 6'3 righty, 32 oh, years Adam. old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. Only two strikeouts so far, and obviously they've been able to pick up plenty of hits, so it's been an impressive one. Second now it's the second baseman, Shohei Otani. Four out of four with four homers. And you know, that strikeout total, only two so far, really tells you they're not just running into good luck and getting hits to fall. They're earning those knocks. Cronenworth gets it to first, and they get Otani for the out. Now batting the catcher. And next for L.A., Will Smith. Lays down a bunt to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back here at Chavez Ravine, all set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. The wind and the pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. That misses. And that's ball three. Looks like an intentional walk after falling behind 3 and 0. Oh, didn't want to risk nibbling. Man at first. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson Profar. First pitch, not close. The Dodgers leading by five here at the top of the ninth. Righty delivers. This is again five in a row. And the next pitch is way outside. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. 
Machado, the next to hit, takes outside. First and second here, no outs. Outside. Kicks and deals. Outside. Three and O. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit Aye. here. Fastball in for a strike, three and one. At the belt and fires. Center field. Edmund in position. Calls it in, and there's one away. The center field. And now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering way off the plate. And there's the automatic. To the right side. Off balance beat. There's one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. It's pretty early in this series to say a must win game. But when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect it. Huge win in game one to set the tone. Our scorecards are a mess after this one as we look at the final line. Yeah, we're going to have to break out that old graphing calculator of yours for this one, Boo. We saw a ton of offense. I don't think that's how a graphing calculator works, Siggy. 14-9 at the end of this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Of the dog walk through my heaven with levitation from trench and deep as an ace seven show boat and whoop. Flash vines, Bella Fonte, Jigga. Let's keep up with this work as we confiscate your figures. Chasing over brown, levitating Jiki and our Shiki's the La Hada car. 54 chasing diamond runners headed ice band. The big chiller diamond convention hall of drugs. Time is the ball game. Four hours exactly. Tonight's paid attention. Odd seller. $56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodgers earlier, we were a mic to three. Right home safely.